path to our right will be passing by the standards board, the standards board author, or the standard authority. They are, is a government is establishment responsible for checking standards of goods that are produced in Ghana and more in particularly those that are brought in to ensure that they are safe and meet all the you know, required standards before they are released onto the market. So occasionally they know that we have very porous uh, borders and people, human beings, human uh, establishment, setting people, you know, uh, find ways of beating the system. So they go onto the market once in a while to ensure that yes, the goods are up to the standard and then they have certified them. And some of the criteria is that whether they are produced in English, you know, uh, speaking countries or not, they must have writings detailing everything about them in English because this is an English speaking country and then they must state clearly date of production and expiration and all the very important ingredients. Now we are getting into a very important intersection. This intersection which we are getting into is known as Tetekwashi Interchange. Tetekwashi Interchange. Is that's about 50 meters to 100 meters ahead of us. Now it's named after Tetekwashi, the gentleman called after Tetekwashi. Initially it was just a roundabout. In the early 2000s, that's where it was developed into this interchange with more complex road network to ease transportation. Now, Tete Kwashi was the gentleman who introduced Kuku to Ghana. He traveled to Fernandupo, now Equatoria, Guinea. That was where he found Kuku and brought it in uh, 1870. 1876 and planted the first seeds in 1879. And since he did that, they changed the wheels of fortune of this country. Kuku had been the mainstay of the country's economy since then. You realize on the University campus, I told you that one of the halls of residence, that is the Ekiafo Hall, was sponsored by the Kuku families. So we are out of the interchange on the extension of it, moving towards the city of Accra. Any question anyone wants me to address? Now, we are getting to an area that we refer to as the airport residential area. Airport residential area, and as the name depicts, is close to the airport. It has something to do with the airport. Mainly you see the facilities to your left, and this is a prime area, prime area. We have administrative setups and residences. This is an area that houses a lot of diplomats and people of the higher economic standing. Like I said, because of its proximity to the airport, because of its proximity to the airport, it is one of the prime areas of the country. Any question? Any question? So, let me give you the chance to feed your eyes on the environment for two minutes, and I'll come back. Thank you. Thank you.